So I'm finishing up one of my first sessions back training for the CrossFit Open. It's in February, you have quarterfinals in March, semifinals are sometime in May or June, and then you have the conclusion of CrossFit, which is the games in late July, early August. I believe it's the first week of August. I'll have to do some fact checking on that. But as I transition from becoming a solely a weightlifter, focusing on my squats, deadlift, snatch, clean and jerk, pressing, I'm now transitioning to more of a cardio-based training methodology known as CrossFit. And so that is going to involve more conditioning, more gymnastics work, more lighter weight barbell that will be cycled multiple times, dumbbells, sandbags, handstand walking, running, again, a multitude of different cardio implements that will be varied, constantly changing throughout the next seven months. I'm going to be making little mini docs. This is number one of open prep for CrossFit. We will be going from now until whenever Metcon Rush is in August. So that's about seven months that you guys will get me. I will probably be doing bi-weekly videos. So expect between anywhere between, mm, I'd say 15 and 20. Some weeks I will go back to back. Other weeks I will probably just be doing every other week just to give you guys updates. So for starters, the best way that you can prepare for the open if you haven't been getting in CrossFit shape is to grow slow. Don't just jump back in and hit two, three Metcons if you haven't even done one in the past few months. Start with one, start with body weight, something cardio-based, something light, easy on the joints, something where you're just flowing and going. And then week in and week out, slowly progress. Add a little bit more volume, add a little bit more complexity, add a little bit more load. Now I do think from a baseline standpoint, your strength training should still be prioritized, go through your progressions, add your load, vary the rest periods, vary the movements that you're doing. But if you want to get into better actual physical crossfit shape for the open or whatever competitions you have going on, you're going to need to really keen in on that conditioning piece. You need to fuel correctly. You need to sleep, mobilize, work on skills, take time to improve in those areas if you want to be successful. So what I'm doing right now is I'm rebuilding my shoulders because they were a little weak. Um, no injuries per se, but I want them to be really, really solid before I start doing these high um, intensity, very broad, not broad, very dynamic ranges of motions where I'm kipping and I'm upside down and I'm putting a lot of stress on the joints. So right now I'm taking about two to three weeks to do as much strict gymnastics work, strict handstand push-ups, regular push-ups, pull-ups, ring rows, um, handstand holds against a wall, freestanding handstands, uh, planks, ring dip holds, ring dips. That is my main base. I'm not doing a whole lot of toe to bar, kipping bar muscle ups, kipping ring muscle ups, not a whole lot of handstand walking, but that will slowly progress. You know, this is my first two weeks just building the base. And then in weeks three and four, and then the fifth week will be the open. I will be slowly integrating more and more stuff, slowly ramping up. The open will be a nice buffer of three weeks where I'll have three more weeks of training. I'll have a, another week and then we're on to quarterfinals where I want to start peaking. And that gives me between, I don't know the exact number, like six to eight weeks to actually prepare my body and to be in really, really good shape. And then from there, we'll train in the summer. We'll pick up more volume. We'll customize my workouts for um, Invictus Boston Invitational happening in June. And then in August, again, Metcon Rush, that'll be like the cap of my season before I go back into strength training for September until next February. So another five week box. So this is my next seven months. The first seven months or last five months have all been about strength or transitioning. We're going growing slowly. We're going to progress slowly. I'm not going to do anything that is going to utterly destroy me yet. There will be a couple workouts coming up that I will use as tests and gauges and I'll capture that for you guys so you guys can see where I'm starting and where I'm finishing. And I'm pretty excited to see that. I'm hoping that you guys stick along for this mini vlog, mini series. I'm excited. I'm gonna try to do and record as much as I can so you guys can see a full progression. So hopefully it helps you with your open progression. Um, and the last little piece of advice that I would tell you is make sure you're fueling properly with hydration, that's electrolytes and water, not just water. You're getting enough carbs and fats for energy. You're getting enough protein 
to fuel your muscles and restore and recover your body. And please sleep a normal, you know, seven to nine hours, whatever. Please don't sleep less than six and, you know, stay up super late. So that's my little tidbit there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy future episodes. And as always, peace and much love. And thank you for watching this episode.